everyone, and welcome to Dice Breaker. I'm Alex Meehan, staff writer, and today we'll be playing Low Stakes. Woo! I, I make mean... that noise because I'm a ghost. Oh yeah, rawr. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, come on. Can we have appropriate role playing here, please? Sweet. We're professionals. Yeah. Um, yeah, Low Stakes is a role playing game. Uh... Where it's basically it's based on uh, what we do in the shadows. If you've watched the film or the series, as well as like naughty sitcoms in general, so you don't have to have watched those things to kind of get what we're going for here. But our players will be housemates who uh, live together, struggle together, but they also happen to be supernatural beings who attempt to live everyday lives. Uh, and hope not to be found out by all the humans. Um, we have with us today Matt Jarvis. Hello. Uh, we have Liv Kennedy. Hey. <laughs> we have Alex Lowley's. Good day. <laughs> <laughs> they will be our players today, and I will be the GM, working behind the scenes, as it were. Um, would you all in turn like to introduce your characters? I'll begin with Alex Lowley's below me. Hey just need to get that out before I say my character. Because <laughs> 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 uh, my character will get not that be out. saying that. Uh, yes, hello. My name is Elizabeth Montgomery. Uh, I am a ghost. I am, uh, uh, what's... Uh, my my arc my archetype is that the the correct way of saying mm -hmm. that is a stickler. So um, I'm very particular about everything, and I do not like it when things don't go my way. And uh, I get very irritated when um, yes, with with everyone all the time. To be honest, <laughs> <laughs> I don't really need a reason, but I will come up with a reason if I need to. So um, yeah, yeah. yeah, I'm from the. Uh, 16th century. Uh, I was born during uh, the time of Queen Elizabeth. Um, wait, no, no, Queen Victoria. Um, and <laughs> I was just like, wait, Queen Elizabeth? No. Nope. know this. Um, and uh, uh, I like to, whenever anybody asks me how I died, I, I like to tell them that it was of a broken heart. Um, although, if that's really the cause, you're yet to find out. Uh, uh, it's it's probably distant. <laughs> 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 oh, okay. It's a mystery. Oh. Little bit of mystery. Uh, ooh, the mystery of disagree. Um, uh, yes. <laughs> anything else to add, Lonnie? Uh No, I'm just a bit of a lady. Oh, yeah, very nice. Um, and I don't like Matt. Let's move. <laughs> or uh, who does? Edward. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Matt's character. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, you know, okay. interchangeable. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, talking of Matt uh, and your character, would you like to tell us about them? Yeah, I'm playing Edward Aluna, uh, whose first name is obviously not in reference to any known vampires. <laughs> uh, yeah, no. I'm completely copyright free. I'm playing the playbook of the Peacock, uh, so I'm just kind of like a cocky kind of uh, vampire who the kind of vampire. The six the si since the sixteen hundreds has been bringing a loot to every party that he's invited to. Oh, <laughs> just right turns now. up, oh, sits no. down, Place and is like, you're gonna love this. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, just the most kind of unbearable cocksure kind of um, yeah, just just really kind of full of full of himself, uh, and and has been for centuries, and you know, can't die, and neither can his pride. Wow, <laughs> what a power to have. <laughs> uh, and last but not least Liv, tell us about your character yeah, uh, okay um, hey, I'm playing Felicity Cooper uh, and I'm a, a rebel without a cause <laughs> Whoa. I know, thank you <laughs> but with um, flaws mm, yeah, good oh, exactly, thank you um, <laughs> yeah, I'm a rebel uh, and I hate rules so I'm in direct opposition of Elizabeth, always. Yes. Okay, I also hate uh, Felicity. I've just <laughs> <laughs> hate everyone. Just adding to the list. Yep, um, <laughs> writing it down. <laughs> um, so I am a werewolf uh, from the 1800s, so I am the baby of the group. Uh, <laughs> so to speak. Yep. <laughs> 
I, uh, there are several things important to me, including <laughs> my bad girl aesthetic, uh, mm-hmm. as you can see. Um, yeah. I, <laughs> excuse me. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I would say bless you, but it might exercise you from this yeah, mortal right. plane. So. <laughs> are you just like allergic to everything I am? Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah, I'm, you I'm make a me fur sick. allergy, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Look, that's only when I'm partially transformed, okay? I'm not. I am allergic to dogs. Yeah, let's write that down. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Look. Um, yeah, I'm extremely emotionally detached. Um, and I think at the moment I'm not actually paying rent. I am here as uh, oh. like a favor from Edward because he owes me. And I am just chilling on the couch. I'm just crashing. Oh, of course the two of you would be in cahoots <laughs> with each other. <laughs> <laughs> Cahoots, huh? Yeah, he, he owes me one. That's all I'm saying. Um, mm. And uh, yeah, I'm dope as heck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I can see. <laughs> um, wonderful. Okay, so um, in this game, all of these three somehow live together. It sounds like just I don't know how this happened, but you know stranger things have occurred um and so in low stakes it's fairly uh um rules light rpg um we'll be playing in what we call like scenes so just like a television series or 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 such there will be you know each sort of situation scenario will be played out in a scene and each one of these uh players will be called the lead character of that scene so they'll be kind of deciding, you know, which one of them is driving the scene while everyone else is kind of like minor characters until we swap that over. Um, there is a system called clout, which we'll get to, which essentially is like the to and froing between the players. So everyone's trying to get one over on one another. Um, and so whoever kind of feels like they're on top of the moment has clout which will allow them to perform actions better. Actions are performed by rolling a d6. Um, You'll be wanting to get a target number. Uh, I believe, from what I remember, (laughs) uh, that number is a five or six. Um, Problem areas are always a six um, because uh, problem areas are things that, you know, this lot aren't necessarily very good at. So they're things that maybe they want to improve at, um, but they'll have to do that by approaching it and just going for it. Whereas clout skills will be things that they're more confident at doing. Uh, Talking about confidence is another aspect of the game where by doing uh, certain things, players can gain confidence, which will allow them to add a die to their role so if you think well that target number is pretty high it's mostly high because the players won't actually be rolling an awful lot in this game because they can only really do each one of the checks uh, once per scene so they can't go wild with it Uh, and mostly they'll be doing checks when they're trying to do something they're either not very good at or slightly better at like with clout skills you can get confidence by doing confessionals, which is the really kind of interesting part of Low Stakes, which is kind of really rooted in those mockumentary kind of naughty style sitcoms, where at any point uh, the player can kind of pause the game, turn literally turn to the camera and address the audience in a kind of fourth wall breaking scenario uh, to say something about themselves or about the other players um, and they'll gain confidence from doing that so you'll see them do that throughout this game which will be fun um, that's about it really with the the kind of chunkier elements uh, as it were so we're gonna get going with the story yeah whoop, whoop, whoop. yeah Woo. <laughs> Bork. okay <laughs> Bork. oh and also Remember, it's werewolves, not swearwolves, please. Werewolves, not swearwolves. So, werewolves, not swearwolves. Mm-hmm. werewolves, not swearwolves. Mm-hmm. Uh, That's a reference so... to the film, Lolis. <laughs> <laughs> I watched the first ten minutes. That did not come up. <laughs> it's fine. Um, okay, so our story begins. A little semi-detached house on a high street. 
in the middle of a seaside town that all oh, not name. <laughs> <laughs> um, our three players are currently asleep after what seems to have been a raucous night of uh, drinking and chatting and dancing and you know all the sort of things that that young people do. So not me then. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, just because they've lived a few centuries doesn't necessarily mean that they don't have a bit of spunk in them, as it were. Um, so <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so these uh, three characters uh, live together and they also have a kind of mutual social circle, as it were. And that social circle seemed to extend to, you know, when you've got an enormous WhatsApp group and there are just so many people in there and some of them you don't really know awfully well, mm -hmm. but they're sort of there. And having, you know, recently kind of moved in together, this lot decided to, you know, uh, find an excuse to, to throw a, a party. And that excuse happened to come up uh, with a kind of, mutual friend but they're like a friend of a friend um they're that person is called well they're known as chili steve <laughs> uh, wait chili like ending in i or chili ending in mm, y why okay. The y okay okay yeah yeah uh yeah chili steve is sort of a, a vague acquaintance um you don't really know them that well whenever you've kind of interacted with them. It's always been a little bit awkward. They've kind of come across as like someone that you've wanted to sort of avoid because they always talk about things that are either very boring or very weird. So you're just kind of like, oh, hi, Chitty Steve, and then you just sort of walk off. But you've thrown this death day party for Chitty Steve. Fantastic. The, the anniversary of the death when uh, mm -hmm. a billboard fell on top of them about five years ago. Uh, and since then, they've sort of embraced the ghost lifestyle, as it were. So they're still pretty young, at least compared to Loni's character. <laughs> um, so after this this sort of party, um, everyone's sort of still semi-asleep. Um, and we're going to sort of go around and we're going to uh, find out, you know, how people are sort of waking up and responding to to you know the the previous evening as it were Sick. so who wants to go first who wants to be our first lead character well i think if you don't mind me taking it i think yeah. it makes most sense for uh for edward uh to wake up in in his coffin uh okay as as vampires do uh mm. but given the effect of well, I can only assume it is like blood with a high alcohol content, which I assume Ooh. is what vampires drink when they're when they're partying, when they're going hard. So do um, they go around <laughs> drinking the blood of people who are already drunk? Yeah, exactly. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like it's a it's a very efficient form of recycling. Um But he he wakes up in his coffin uh the Ooh. wrong way round. So he's got oh. his head down by what would normally be his feet. And you know, after several centuries of sleeping uh, in a very particular formation, it's it's not a great time, uh, and combined with the effect of uh, the alcohol blood, um, he kind of wakes up and kind of is just a little a little more queasy than you would normally be uh, mm. with a with a supernatural hangover. Mm -hmm. He's uh, he's like, oh my my head's killing me, oh, I I haven't had a hangover this bad in uh, maybe two three centuries. It's, I, I feel like ugh, a hair of the dogs may be insensitive. Um, may I need a bloody Mary? Anybody know a Mary nearby? <laughs> I think it, you do hear like a sort of mumble or a groan. Um, is is Edward the kind of person? Are they uh, the kind of person who you would describe as sort of promiscuous, or is it just purely they just they just had a drink or? Would, would there be someone who would spend the night with someone else? Or uh, would that not really I be think their sort of thing? Ideally, but he's more the kind of vampire that talks a big game. Uh, uh. And, and let's be real, because of his personality, it's generally unbearable. So, <laughs> like, the 
it's it's all kind of fluffed up much more than it would be like he's he's a cat stood on tiptoes to appear bigger than he is but actually he's uh, a, t- a tiny kitten uh, um whereabouts is edward's coffin mm. in the house so we're in a semi-detached right do we have mm. a cellar it's up to you. It's your house. I feel mate. like a cellar is expensive. We can't afford the rent for that. So okay. I feel like Edward's coffin may be... Tell you what, Edward... <laughs> Edward's coffin, there's a guest bed. We don't have too Ooh. many bedrooms. So there's a yeah. guest bed and it's one of the... Uh, they called Ottomans where you lift them up. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> and his coffin is under that. It's very space efficient. No. Um, okay. But it has led to several awkward things where guests have stayed over... And he tries to wake up in the morning and there's one or two people <laughs> and can't quite lift it or has to kind of sneak out while lifting it very gently, <laughs> trying not to tip it too much. Well, funnily enough, I'm going to say that's exactly the situation that Edward finds themselves in right now. Um, after you said, kind of, does anyone know a Bloody Mary? Uh, you kind of hear some sort of groggly groans and you definitely feel like there's pressure sort of on top of of your coffin at the moment um uh and you just hear i've never even heard of mary what you're talking about (laughs) shut up (laughs) from somewhere in the room disgusting (laughs) disgusting i feel okay i feel like also the top of his coffin after several incidents of being trapped underneath uh the open bed it now the lid slides sideways it's kind of on uh Mm. like rails but that still means that the bed has to lift up. So is he able to lift the bed slightly? It Does it sound like it's coming from on the bed or just in the room? So the person who said that sounds like they're coming from just in the room. Okay. The, the, uh, the, there seems to be someone else on top of, on top of your ottoman at the moment. P- possibly the person who kind of made the, the groany grumbly noises. Uh, okay, I think Edward will try and start lifting the bed, the, like, mm. unaware of this. Mm. Um, so if he starts lifting to try and get out, what happens? <laughs> I think mean, you just hear, oh, oh, oh! And then you just hear a sort of bump. <laughs> uh, and you just hear, oh... Oh, my head. Oh, everything else. Oh. Uh. <laughs> and then you just hear, Oh my God, that smells so bad. Uh, as as Edward... Okay, if presumably the person on the bed has, has fallen off. So I'm able to crawl out. Uh, yeah, you can get out I try. Now, yeah. I try and emerge from the coffin slash lifting bed as kind of suavely as possible but it's it's okay. always a bit awkward it's like someone very tall trying to get out of a very low car mm-hmm. um mm-hmm. you know kind of just having to fold legs in a certain way and kind of squat for a little bit and kind of crab shuffle out before standing up <laughs> but trying to make that like trying to pull it off with as much kind of uh like nonchalant kind of energy mm. as possible just like yeah this is this is me this is how i move like this is this is the cool way to move everyone should be doing this Cramming it, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, as you do that, you, you identify a person who who was kind of making all that racket. Uh, they're sort of slumped in like a, a an armchair that's sort of in the corner of your room, and they're watching you sort of critically as you sort of get up and crab shuffle out. Uh, and they're like, "Look what your mate Brian do." <laughs> <laughs> Uh, potentially Brian, who you assume they're talking about, is sort of like laying on the floor, uh, having seemingly uh, vomited uh, after another person has vomited. Uh, Presumably that person you pushed off the ottoman. Uh, and, and the person sat in the chair is like, now this whole room smells. Oh, God, I gotta get up. And they sort of stand up from the chair and dust off. You don't know who this yeah, person is. It's like, who is way. this? You don't recognize <laughs> them. Uh, they, were, they were called Brian, right? 
Uh, no, they were pointing at Brian, who's oh, now I laying don't. on the floor. Do I know Brian uh, as well? Or do increasingly, I... you do know Brian, yeah. Okay. An increasingly expanding pile of sick. Uh, that's next to this uh, other person who has fallen off the ottoman. Uh, and presumably the smell of their sick has caused more sick. Um, you know Brian is a werewolf. Uh, they're, they're like a friend who you know them from what kind of what kind of things does ed would like to do um he generally just kind of swoons and sparkles okay. uh you know he just walks through densely populated areas uh trying to All catch right. as many eyes as possible that that kind okay. of thing and, <laughs> yeah getting very little but only it's like night, it's right. like a like a fisher with a hole in their net like trying to just swoop through a school of fish and catching nothing but just sticking at it. That's that's the, yeah, that's the, the kind of day to day of Edward. Yeah, that's Edward's sort of yeah. situation. He lives okay. solely for the attention of others. Well, you happen to catch Brian's attention because because he was busking on the side of the road, and they, you know, he saw you looking at him with that intense gaze, and you sort of struck up a conversation. And now, you know, you occasionally walk around places. Brian just likes the company. You just like to Mm. sort of saunter about. So you do know Brian, who who has unfortunately had an accident on the rug in your room. So not ideal. You don't know who this person in the the armchair is, but they've stood up and they're kind of making to go out out of the door. Mm. Uh, I think with Brian as well, uh, mm. Edward tells everybody that he wears shades because his mm. eyes have like a powerful hypnoc- hypnotic quality. Okay. So occasionally he'll just kind of tip them down and look at people. And can you actually hypnotize people? Is this just a? I mean, nobody really knows. Edward is absolutely okay. convinced that that's the case. Just like right. a little tip of the glasses, make direct eye contact, and they'll follow behind like the Pied Piper. But <laughs> yeah, because characters, characters in this game can have legitimate oh powers, yeah but, yeah but yours are questionable yeah my main power i think the the only power that is un, unquestionable is that everywhere i walk i seem to leave like almost a trail of glitter and nobody <laughs> okay and nobody again nobody really knows if it's actual kind of sparkling magic or if it is just like a small glitter shaker that you kind yeah, of just, just got a hole sprinkles in your pocket <laughs> yeah exactly just <laughs> feeding it out like crumbs um you need to find your way back home somehow like yeah yeah Oh, exactly. Uh, well, this this person who stood up, uh, sort of puts is getting their jacket on. Just like, oh God, I'm gonna go and get a Greg's. Uh, and they're sort of walking to go out the door, and then they stop and like look down at the door and squint, and then like pick something up. It's like, well, there's glitter in here. Oh. Yeah, I don't know them, do I? No, you don't know. Who I say, good is. to see you again. Thanks for thanks for coming over, Brian. Would you mind the uh? Mind the rug there? That's from that's several centuries old, you know. You can't just find those. Uh, it is in fact not se- several centuries old. It is from IKEA. Just like, an, yeah, an IKEA rug. <laughs> uh, yeah, you, you do hear you do hear Brian go, "Sorry, Edward," like that, just very yeah. quietly. Uh, Upset, Brian. And, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, Brian. yeah. Well, he's he's had a rough one, uh, and this person is like, "Well, I've got to be going." Think. Thanks so much for having me over. Uh, I'll just see myself out then, yeah? Can I float in the door as as this is happening? <laughs> you may okay. do. So you're up and about. Yeah, okay. I'd like to I'd like to just like I just move through walls. Um that's one of my powers. <laughs> yeah. So I'm just gonna like I guess as as this person, this clearly Scottish person is reaching for the door, I'd like to just come through the Very door. Very clearly Scottish person. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, I'd like to just yeah, float through the door um, and be like, good morning, Edward. Oh, uh, oh Jesus Christ. Don't get scared of that. Yeah, and as soon as I'm in, I just like the smell of all the sick yeah, hits oh. me and I'm like, what? What, is be- what is going on in here? What is... What? And I'm just like doing that for like forever until somebody stops me. What? Um, Can I just say that you like hear from the other room just like, shut up! (laughs) (laughs) What? What? (laughs) Yeah. Uh, You you do, you hear Brian on the floor going, oh, I was a little bit sick. I'm sorry. Brian! I hope you're going to clean that up before you leave today, Brian. 
Ryan? I'll try. I'll try. Oh. <laughs> uh, the person standing up was like, well, now that that's been sorted, I'll just see myself out then, yeah? They'll have to walk through me if they want to get out of this <laughs> um, you just, uh, if you just could move a little bit there, that'd be really. Do I know this person? Be really helpful. Uh, no. <laughs> uh, I think, um, yeah, I kind of go a bit like, okay, and I'm a bit like perturbed about this randomer who's like trying to open the door, I guess, to get past me. And I'm like, okay. Um, and I'm also trying not to stand in the sick. So I'm a bit like, just don't, well, I, I guess I'm floating anyway. I don't really need to stand in the sick. But <laughs> yeah, technically. <laughs> but I, yeah. Don't, I don't want like my floaty bits to get into the sick. The floaty know? bits, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> your, your ectoplasms. Yeah. Uh, well, thank you kindly there. I'm just going to go off, right? <sighs> and you just, they open the door and just start walking out down the hallway. Uh, Liv, hmm. uh, your where are you? Are you in the living room? I'm in the or? living room, yes. Uh, <laughs> I think that they, as this person walks down the hall and maybe enters the living room, they go past a big pile of, like, solo cups um, on the sofa, but then I just, like, pop my head out of it. Um, <laughs> hey! <laughs> oh, uh, all right then! Um, uh, your name again? Felicity. I, that's the one. Yeah. I remember we had a conversation last night. Oh, did we? Yeah. Uh, okay. I was, yeah, okay. I think you were talking about some sort of show that I hadn't seen before. Uh, you were yeah. very excited about chess or something. Chess, yeah. No, oh. I love a bit of chess. When it, when you checkmate, I love that. I love checkmates. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can sort of look. You can sort of see them awkward and looking at the door like... Ah, uh, yeah, that's 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 right. Great. Oh, I'm just gonna go now. Who, who are you? Did you be with someone? We had a whole conversation. We did. Yeah, I, I just can't believe you can't remember. No, I can't remember that. I just wondered if you were like hanging out with Edward for the night or what. <laughs> oh no, no, no! I was just crashing in this room. It was in an ottoman or something. Very, very odd. But uh, they're up now. Like if you an wanted ottoman. To. Am I right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, um, yeah. yes, um, I just really fancy a Greg's at the moment, so I'm just gonna go, <laughs> that's all key. Uh, and they're sort yeah. of sidling towards the door, <laughs> and then they open it sort of behind them and start like walking out. Who are you? Like, <laughs> Bye! <laughs> And and you just see the door close and they're gone. They definitely took something. Um, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Liv, as you um well, Felicity, yeah. as you look around, um like you do remember the colour of the carpet. It's like a sort of moss, you know, colour that that may have originally been a lighter green, but over the years it's gradually darkened with various stains. Mm-hmm. Uh, but you 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 can't see that color at all because it's just there's just bodies on the floor. <laughs> Alive? Uh, yeah. Oh no. <laughs> well, most of them. Okay, yeah, yeah. Um. Yeah. Uh. You recognize some. Mm. Um. Others seem to be. Uh. You have a vague memory of maybe last night. Uh, it seems that things might have gotten a little bit out of hand mm. uh, and a lot more people came than you anticipated. Oh, uh, I invited way uh, more people than I told the others were coming. So I. Oh, yeah, yeah. for sure. <laughs> like, and a lot of those people you just found on the street. Yeah. <laughs> you were just, yeah, yeah. You just like, do you want to come to this party? I like your vibe. Uh, yeah. Do you want to like come to it? Yeah, no, totally. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Which, you know, which may or may not be a problem because... Uh, you know, at least some of them are going to be humans. You know, which <laughs> in a house full of supernatural people could be an issue. Uh, pff, but right. whatever, like, you don't follow the rules, nah. who cares? <laughs> um, one thing you do notice that is a bit unusual, aside from all the bodies, is that um, one of those bodies appears to be sort of, sort of partly, uh, um, well, partly sticking out of the floorboards, um, uh, just you can just see the the legs really. Um, yeah, there's a hole in your floor, 
Um, well, it's not your fault. You don't pay rent. No, don't pay rent. <laughs> it's there. But like, you know. Like, you can, okay. You can hear a, a sort of deep snoring coming out of there. Like rumbling snoring. Okay. Uh, I would like to wade my way through the solo cups and <laughs> and <Yep>. uh, <laughs> and go over to this person uh, and just kind of like uh, tap them on the knee. Mm. Hey. Hey. Oh, oh my bong! <laughs> they, they lift their head up and Ooh. presumably bang against the, oh. the top of the floorboards oh. and you know, again, werewolves, not swearwolves, but goodness. Yeah. <laughs> the words that are coming out of this person's mouth are, are yeah. Hey, not, not f- hey, enough of that potty mouth. We we don't we don't do that here. Uh, oh god. Oh, where 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 the hell am I? Is is that you, Felicity? I, yeah. I, I don't know what's happened. Um, I can't see anything. You're in. Oh my god, I'm dead. That's it. I'm done. Maybe, but you're in the floor. Um. <laughs> Elizabeth! Edward! Someone's in your floor! <laughs> Elizabeth just says she comes like through the ceiling <laughs> down. <laughs> <laughs> I told you not to do that. <laughs> What's going on down here? Why are you screaming? It's early. You well, were screaming. Uh, Felicity, <laughs> you see all, all these people sleeping on the floor, on the sofa, on the chairs. Oh. There's someone on the table. It's, yeah, there's people on top of one another. Some of those people aren't fully clothed. My goodness, it's been... I think... It's chaos. Um, Elizabeth is going to go... Uh, do we have a little garden or something? Or... I'm gonna... Yeah, I'd say you've got, like, a concrete... Okay. Sort of... I'm just gonna... concrete square. Assume there's, like, a place with a hose, out, out, like, <laughs> attached to the wall or whatever. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna inhabit the hose... And I'm gonna come in and just spray okay. the holes all over the room to try and wake everyone up. Can I, as soon as Elizabeth goes out to the garden, I know what she's gonna do because she sent it to me. So I'll just like leave the room for a second. Yeah. Just get an umbrella. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So uh, right. So I'm gonna say that um, Elizabeth is kind of the lead character in this particular scene. Uh, and I'm going to say that you're, I'd say that you're trying to control the situation here at the moment, mm-hmm. um, because you're fed up with all these people being here, sure, uh, and you you want it, you want them out. So uh, I say to wake everyone up with the hose, or roll a clout mm-hmm. skill, please. Okay, how many dice do I use for a clout skill? Is that? It's just one. It's just one. Okay. Um. Ooh. Control the entire situation is one of my cloud skills. Does mm. that give me yeah. anything extra Wait. or no? No, no. It's just it's just the things that it's just one of the things that you can. I think we okay. start with when, a... when essentially when I think that you're um doing something that's like a cloud skill or a problem area, then I'll ask you to roll. Mm-hmm. But uh, I would say I would say you have clout at the moment in the sense that. You've sort of stepped up and you're taking charge. So I'd say, yeah, roll an extra d6. Okay. And you just need a five. Just one five. Oh, yes, I got a six. Nice. Awesome. Nice. Okay. Um, so you maintain your clout as well. Um, okay. So, yeah, you you turn on the hose. And at first it's a little bit like, like a little <laughs> dribbles coming out. And then you like whack it up to full pelt. Uh, and suddenly there's this cold water sort of streaming everywhere uh, and you hear a synchronized kind of like <gasps> shriek <laughs> and like oh! uh, as everyone is sprayed with freezing cold water uh, and um, people are scrambling to get up some people are scrambling to to cover their indecencies <laughs> Uh, uh, some people are kind of more groggily moving presumably because they're a little bit more you know, hangover, as it were. Uh, and you hear just a lot of people go, what the hell? Is, what are you doing? And then you you sort of hear some, a few, again, bad words. Uh, but the but people are definitely awake now. Are you just continually spraying? No, once, they're, once of... they're awake, I'll, like, I'll 
leave the uh, the house. You're leaving the house. Yeah. Okay. And I'm just like, all right, out you go, out you go, party over, let's get out. <laughs> and take your rubbish with you while you're at it, please. <laughs> okay. You you hear like grumbling and sort of like, oh, people like protesting. I'm literally like picking you... up like like rubbish and like handing them to people and like shooing them out. Okay. Like, like, pushing party them out favors. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh well I yeah, you've definitely you've definitely taken control of this particular situation. You, you, people are starting to sort of funnel out. Um uh, a lot of them you have no idea who they are. Uh even vague acquaintances. Um but the person that's sort of in the floorboards is now with a wet bum <laughs> is now sort of like, What what's going on? Felicity, I, I, now I'm wet. I am It's dark <laughs> and I'm wet. Uh, uh, don't worry. Um, who are? Who's in the floorboards? <laughs> who are you? This is Moash. You know Moash. Moash. They're, yeah, yeah. There are there are one of your fellow werewolves. Good. Uh, my buddy Moash. What? What? How did you get yourself in here, friend? <laughs> uh, I'll be honest with you. Don't entirely know. Great. Not a hundred percent for sure. I have several theories that I'm considering. Uh-huh. Uh, one of them is that Jeremy lost his ferret again. Classic. Uh, so that's that could be something that you'll have to deal with as well. Uh, I don't know where Jeremy is. Uh, I don't know where the ferret is. I think it might have gone under here. Mm-hmm. Uh, and in that case, I think he might have lost another one again. But yeah. hey, you never know when things will turn up. This whole time, it's echoing out of the, but the I, whole world. I don't think there was a flaw there, though. So even if there was a ferret missing, how did you get... How, where did the hole come from? Oh, yeah. Um, I think someone dive-bombed yeah. off it's, a table at some I just, point. I'm, I'm very afraid we're not going to get our deposit back now. <laughs> It'll be fine. You can patch this up with some uh, plaster. It'll be fine. Like, don't... Yeah. Um, hey, Moash. Yeah? I'm gonna pull you yep. out, bud. <laughs> oh, I, that would be fantastic. All right. And then I'm gonna <laughs> grab onto the, the shins. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna use... Shin. Um, so I've said that I, I will decide my powers as I play, as they come into, into play. And I think she has, you know, pretty reasonable strength as a werewolf. Um, so she can just kind of yank him out with like well I yank them out with 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 some super strength probably so would would you say that you're would you say that you're showing off right now oh absolutely yeah just <laughs> okay so uh roll a d6 uh you need to get five okay because of your clout skill can i so we all start off with one confidence right yes can i use that for this and roll an extra dice yeah Excellent. yes you can roll an extra die Wonderful. Love that. Okay, I got a six. Um, Also nice. nice. Okay, so because you succeeded in one of your clout skills, you now have clout. Heck yeah. Um, So um, Elizabeth no longer has clout. Oh. Um, If if Elizabeth does something cool... Yeah. uh, Doubt uh, it. No. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Well, if... (laughs) If you do something that's very in line with with Elizabeth and you pull it off, then you can gain clout back. Mm-hmm. But uh, also, so yeah, you it, it takes a bit of tugging, and you can feel Moash sort of <laughs> trying to push themselves out. Come on, help me out here, bud. Push. <laughs> and they emerge from the hole, bits of plaster on top of their head, sort of you know bits of some dirt. Uh, and they're like, oh, cool, blimey. God, I'm glad to be out of there. It's not great down there, I'll be honest with you. You've got some some bugs, some other things sort of hanging out down there. Elizabeth, you hearing this? I thought you kept, like, a clean house or, I don't know, like... What's the deal? (laughs) (laughs) Elizabeth just doesn't respond. She just looks at you with contempt. Yeah. I'm just literally like <laughs> arms crossed, like <laughs> staring at you because I know that you're not <laughs> paying your part of the rent. <laughs> <laughs> I think Mama sort of sees this tension. Is like, hey, so got out that hole. That's great. <laughs> yeah. Um, 
Yeah, uh, sorry about that. Um, I'm sure we'll find a way of uh, fixing it up. But where's uh, Edward? I don't know. I think as you're asking this, Edward descends the st- down the stairs because there's mm. very few people left upstairs to admire him. Uh, <laughs> oh, right. There's only uh, like Brian scrubbing away uh, a vomiting yeah. carpet. Good, um, yeah. And um, as he kind of pushes through the crowds of people filing out the door, it's like, mm. oh, th- these must be all the people I invited. Uh like good to see you all. Like cheers, cheers. Thanks, hey, thanks for coming hey, here. You just here. Oh, oh, yeah. Uh, uh, some of them are definitely carrying some things. Oh, I'd be, yeah. I mean, uh, if you could leave. Uh, well, you know, that's that's cool. Uh, yeah. Uh, it do, he doesn't want to. He's like a real uh, people pleaser, um, mm. in the worst kind of way. Where he's just like very kind of like. Oh well, I I suppose if you yeah if you want to take that um. Maybe just replace it uh, anyway. Uh, yeah, they ain't listening. Yeah, uh, and he f- kind of wades through this crowd of people leaving uh, to mm. come into the living room. He's like, "Oh, Phil, oh, you're up, uh, Mo. Good to see you." Hey. Um, uh, hi. Y- you've got you got you got a little a little something on you there, buddy. Uh, uh, y- yeah. Um, yeah. T- turns out your house now has a new feature. It's a hole. But we'll, we can deal with it. It's fine. Um, yeah. Um, Put like a plan in there. Just like yeah, d- potted plant. Yeah, d- yeah d- Jeremy is, is, you know, he's handy with a hammer. Oh, Jess, yeah. Where, where is he? Uh, so, that's a good point. Because I might need to let him know that he's lost another ferret. Um, How many ferrets does he I have now? Why, like uh, yeah, six? I think this is four. Four. This is number four. Uh, it, I just don't know what happens. I don't know if they like him, to be honest. Mm. But I didn't really want to tell him, break his heart. But, uh, you know, aside from Jeremy, one big question I wanted to ask you is that, have you seen, have you seen Steve, Chili Steve? Have you seen them? You know, it was their death day party last night. Do you remember the, this whole thing? The hole in the floor? Yeah, have you seen them anywhere? Guessing that's a no. That's a no. Yeah. Um... Edward tries to play. I've got. He's like, oh yeah, I I saw. Yeah, I saw the big chill. He was a. Uh, you know, we were we were having a great time. We were hanging out like uh like he was he was he told me the best best parties they've ever been to. Uh. You know, uh, just I, trying I, to like play it off, but clearly hasn't <laughs> hasn't seen them. Is just kind of. Uh, faking it. Yeah, I don't know if they told you, but they, uh, you know, they, they, their pronouns are actually they, them. But I, you might have forgotten. It's fine. But uh, yeah, they, they, yeah, they sort of gone missing. I, I was a bit worried because you know it's their their death day party, and we wanted them to be here. We had a, we had a legally distinct caterpillar cake. <laughs> Wow. So why is it that we had that. the party for Chili Steve? I, 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 why is why was this party even held in our house? It's a gift. Oh, you you said the Felicity said it would be fine. It's a gift. Felicity said it would be fine. Oh, I see. Okay. It's a gift. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Edward said as well. <laughs> so, yeah, and you know, nobody both, thought uh, to yeah. run this past me. Well, I thought Somebody's they told you. That day, you know, celebration, you don't want to have a nice party for them. I mean, like, it's pretty cold. Yeah. I don't Are... even know who Chili Steve is. Why I mean, you would have gotten Chili to know Steve? Chili is he Steve. <laughs> is he, uh, does he like chilies? I don't. I don't know anything like, about this guy. I don't like. I remember sitting around and and I'm I'm sure it was the whole house. At least you know, Fel Fel was there and I was and there. I was there. Um, like yeah. uh, you you may have been there or you may have. Uh, I know. You, I kind of just assume there, that you're but... just there, like yeah. you know, because like you can go invisible sometimes. Yeah, I think. Yeah, yeah, they, they were... These two definitely told me it'll be fine. Yeah, like, I remember. What can, what can we get them for their death day? Because yeah. it's it's uh, a, a big number. Five. Oh no! Actually, it's five. Five. It's five. five. Yes. Like I mean, I remember five. clearly. I mean, yeah. I mean, it's six. But it's, but, uh, it's six. my oh, do. <laughs> it's my four hundred and fiftieth next month, and I don't think I've heard we'll anybody talking about my death day party. Well, what do you want to do? 
Well, I don't want to have to tell you what I want to do. I, I would. What like... do you mean? <laughs> we, uh, uh, Edward makes like ca- just catches eyes with uh, Felicity, and it's like, yeah, we of course we remembered that, and we've got you know we've got something planned. Plans. We've got we've, we've got we've got. Pla- plans plural. Yeah. Yes, that's right. So many things that you enjoy, <laughs> like cleaning. No, <laughs> wait. It's it's very rule abiding. Yeah, it's so many rules. Um, Are we playing board games? Uh, sh- yeah. Y- y- uh, yes. And, and and croquet. Um. <laughs> y- <laughs> Are we like baking cakes? Uh, oh my god! Uh, well, to you an know. awkward moment here. I, 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 sorry. Uh, I, you know, just bringing. Let's just bring this back round. Uh, uh, chili steak. Mm-hmm. I don't even so, know who he that, is. They're not. Uh, they're, they are. They're not here. Like, I, I should. Let's go find them. Let's go find Chili Steve. Yeah, that'd be. You yeah. know what, everyone? That'd be really good. Yeah. Uh, cause you know, I don't mind you guys. You know, you lot using. You know, my Netflix. My Amazon Prime, my Disney Plus, you know, you, you know, my my Arcado sort of gift card, but uh, it'd just be really good if you could help me with this one, because um, you know, Ch- Chili Steve is great, and I I'm worried about him. Do you have a picture so, of them uh, so I can at least know what I'm looking for? Mm. They they were here last night. I've ne- Did you not talk? There to was them? about a hundred people here last night. How am I supposed to know which one <laughs> Chili Steve was? <laughs> well, you know the 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 ghost. I'm the uh, ghost. The <laughs> <laughs> There's more than one ghost around here. Yes, but I'm the ghost. Right. And you think? Oh, you think all ghosts know each other? Is that what you're thinking? I. That's incredible. No, 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 no. Like that. I think that's no, no. incredibly <laughs> sensitive of you. That, that, they were. They were just here. You know. I, I just. Um, yeah. Uh, I mean, if they're not in the house, then. Um, I don't know. I. They could be at Borison's. They they like to go there and sort of observe. Mm. People buying things. Oh, um, I mean, yeah, they're, they're they're a big fan of of deals. They're always kind of seeing whether people are getting the best bargains. So you could go, you could go to Borison's. Yeah, have a, have a look around there. They they could be there. I just you know, death days are fun, <laughs> but they could also be a difficult experience for ghosts. Yeah, I'm sure you you understand, mm. Elizabeth. You know. It's sometimes it's, I just don't want them to to lose contact, you know. So if you could uh, find Steve for me, that would be really great. I'll, I'll find some way of fixing fixing your hole. All right, I know exactly where Chili Steve is, but I'm gonna tell you guys later. Let's go to Barson's first. Okay, uh, you, if you could pick me up one of them gingerbread men, that'd be really good. Marsh says. All right. I mean, what else? You... All right, fine. Yeah, please fix the I'll hole. I'll sort out your hole. Yeah, cool. Great. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Do you want like the 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 big gingerbread person or like the the small ones that where you get thirty of them? Do you know, like uh, I. Oh, you know the ones with the little buttons on them. Oh yeah. Um. Well, kind of. Like. Well, okay, I'll, I'll see, I'll see you later. Right. <laughs> anyway, fix fix the 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 hole, right? The hole. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. Where's Where's Jeremy? He's sort of yelling up the the the, the stairway. Jeremy, Jezza, <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're now just having a conversation, like up. Right. Okay. We're as we leave. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Mm. yeah. <laughs> Is that wait? So we're the only occupants of the house, right? We are the only well, I, like werewolf vampire ghosts that live there full time. Yeah. So okay, do, I, as a house, do we just leave it unlocked? I think that's probably yeah. The nature you're, of you're, it, yeah. I mean, I think Elizabeth, you might be a bit more stringent about security, but well, the there's other people two there now. So. Yeah. 
I think, yeah, if anything, we just need to have kind of almost like a door that's on a flap rather than locking it because we're always in and out. Like we're turning into bats and werewolves and things like that. It's really hard to carry keys on you. Yeah. I think I yeah. like, yeah, when- as we go, I'm like just scanning the area, <laughs> like scanning the whole room before I leave and just like very slowly closing the door. Just making sure I like really remember every little thing that's in this room. That I know if anything has been moved or taken. I mean, some of it's already been taken at some point. Yeah, but, but... I scanned that now, so at least now I know right. if that was Mo <laughs> or Jeremy, if, if, if it was anyone. Right. Uh, okay. <laughs> Edward is very disappointed because there are, there are clearly things missing, but as a vampire, obviously, uh, he doesn't appear in mirrors. So mm. uh, where there would be mirrors he has kind of put up likenesses of himself <laughs> um, and he's very disappointed that nobody seems to have taken any of those. They also, they have his like mobile number at the bottom as well and like availability yeah. during weekdays. Yeah. Um, yeah. But, but none of no. them have gone. No, there was definitely a very small cactus that's now gone, but yeah. That was mine. <laughs> <laughs> Only thing you brought yeah. with you. <laughs> okay, so you're heading to Borison. Hmm. How far right. away is Borison's? First of it's all, it's just like a that. like a ten minute walk. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's pretty close. Is Edward sparkling as we go. Oh yeah, always. <laughs> right. Yeah. You I'm can like see... just marching ahead. Yeah, you can see that actually, <laughs> um, as we're walking along the pavement in kind of the gutter, there's the like the past traces of glitter from before. <laughs> um, it's biodegradable glitter, obviously. Uh, oh, but some of good. it is some of it's left over from previous trips to and from Borisons. <laughs> yeah, no, um, Borisons is your local, so Yeah. Also think, yeah. Sorry, go on. I was just saying that as Felicity steps out, she's like just behind Edward and so she kind of catches like a bunch of glitter just <laughs> 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 Come on. <laughs> um yeah, and and Elizabeth, every time she leaves the house, she always has like one of those like white Sun, sun umbrella things. What are they called again? Like parasol. Yeah, like a parasol. parasol. Yeah. yeah. She's yeah. very like she's very like always dressed all in white. Like she's just she looks mm. very. Mm. Well, she doesn't look entirely out of place if we are where I think we are. But <laughs> it's worth saying that it must be. It's either really early or really late because yeah. if the sun's out, it's bad news for me. No, but vampires. Oh, it's up to you. Like it, vampires it, exploding the sun, right? It's it's up to you what narrative you want to pick, mm. mate. I can't, I don't think I can go against that bit of vampire law. Uh, so you would you like could to just explode. like you could just have like just a, like a stupid. Yeah, how do you deal with like... that? Because it's definitely mid morning. Mm, Greg's okay. is open and Barrison's. Yeah. So, okay, yeah, yeah. Greg's I think and as, as Edward walks, the the path is lined with trees, uh, and he kind of has to flip between the different shadows of trees and fences <laughs> wow. but he's trying to again just play it off as very kind of very deliberate just kind of drifts neatly but occasionally uh if like the sun comes through a slight gap suddenly has to very awkwardly shuffle back yeah. into the thing it's really annoying he starts smoking too much let's go is like way closer but it's all sun it's all sun all the way mm. there yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. we have to go to Barrison's, which is further away yeah, <laughs> Boris and uh, Le- Lesko has like a some parts of it are sunroofs. Yeah, you know. Uh, yeah, it's a nightmare for you, <laughs> Edward. So Boris is definitely a better pick. Mm. And also Boris, you know, is where Chili Steve might be. Yeah. So mm. okay, so you get into Boris and it's like a usual Saturday morning. You know, relatively busy people going about their day. Um, do you, you know, do you lot? go to any particular part of Borison do you think Truly Steve might be at or you sort of frozen section doing a wonder frozen section okay <laughs> okay Felicity's going to the frozen section yeah. is anyone joining them uh, um, I like... there's there's like a bakery there's a fishmongers I'll go I'll go pick up these muffins for Moash okay <laughs> and a gingerbread oh gingerbread muffins yeah that's right oh okay I... whatever <laughs> <laughs> I'm just in like the organic fruit and veg section like, I don't. Okay. I really don't know Chili Steve, so I have no idea where to look. So I'm just going where I like. <laughs> okay. Um, I don't remember well, Chili Steve, but they have chili in their name, and that's what I'm going on. So <laughs> you're going for chi- you're going for frozen chili. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, well it's yeah. chili with a Y, right? It's chili. Yeah. yeah. Oh, cold. Yeah. Got you. Uh, okay. Yeah. So you're in the frozen section. Uh, Edward's going to the to the. To the bakery and and 
Um, Elizabeth's just browsing the organic vegetables. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, I think I think Felicity, you you're sort of looking at some of the the frozen goods. There's one of those um, ice cream desserts from the eighties. Cool. That's got the delicious chocolate in it. And you're sort of you're having a look at that. It's pretty good. Uh, uh, Edward, you're you go to the bakery and you're sort of browsing the the, the stall there. Um, and there's so I was just going to say in character. I'll say that I, it's still times where we have to wear masks and stuff. I'm assuming that we are wearing masks. Uh, and I don't want to cough, which is why I've got a tear rolling down my eye because that just happened to me out of game. It's where I really <laughs> needed to cough and then didn't. <laughs> so I've just got a tear rolling down my eye. Okay. Yeah. I mean, also, you know, you're probably a little bit hungover as True. well. True. So. Very emotional. Yes. <laughs> uh, yeah, it, it, it happens. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, Edward, you're at the, the bakery section. There's someone working at the kind of till area there where, you know, you can get bread and stuff. Uh, and they're sort of, uh, you know, putting the bread out. And they're they're young and attractive uh, and they sort of catch you, you know, they look at you uh, and then they sort of look away but you definitely caught a sort of wry look in, in their eye as, but they're, they're currently handling some bloomers so uh, do you want to do anything or? Uh, I think that Edward is very kind of uh, passive in his like he he expects people like he's he's too proud to ever directly uh like initiate okay like, a conversation with someone in terms of right. like can i have your number or so on okay uh, so he he just kind of tries to swoon along the the bread aisle <laughs> and <right>. maybe <laughs> maybe picks up um picks up a bread roll mm. and just kind of holds it very awkwardly and then just Tries to tilt ahead at the the person behind the counter. It's just okay. like, mm, yeah, just <laughs> trying to to be the the most suave you can be while holding a bread roll extremely awkwardly. <laughs> okay, I want you to roll um, clout uh, to try and impress others of your style and panache. Mm. So um, I'm looking for a five. Yes, I you, rolled. You have a confidence you can use. That's I'm going to save that confidence for now. Uh, I rolled a four. Uh, okay, well, they sort of see you trying to, like, peacock uh, for them. And they're sort of like, and they're like, do you want to buy that bread roll? Well, uh, actually, I'm looking for, uh, a ju- what was I looking for? Um, you, the, the things that look, they're like small... They're like small h- h- mortal, I mean people, uh, and they're made of a kind of like a a bread. It's quite g- like gingery. Uh, I think like they're they're, they're like bre- bread bread mortals, bread bread they're... people people <laughs> bread. They're looking at you like the they're you know, the... skeptically and like you. Okay, this is a weirdo. Um... When you fail rolls in low stakes, it doesn't mean an immediate, like, nothing can happen. It basically means you come across what we call a complication, which is uh, things will still move ahead, but you'll have, you now potentially have a new problem to deal with. This problem is going to be that this person is incredibly suspicious of you now, uh, because believe it or not, supernatural people find it very difficult to kind of merge into normal human society. There's always something a little bit off about them. And there is something definitely very off about the way Edward is acting right now. Mm. So they're, they're very sort of wary of of you and what you're saying. Uh, and I think they're sort of looking behind them to like the other people sort of working with them uh, and making eyes with them. Mm. And then sort of <clears> looking <throat> back to you and be like, I'm afraid I don't really know what you're talking about it's um at this point that i realized that the the role i tried to pick up very nonchalantly is actually garlic bread oh, uh, oh and, goodness and so my hand is starting to like smoke uh very very gently uh so i drop it 
and like, oh well, never mind. Uh, I'll I'll look over uh, uh, over here and just kind of dash off. But trying to, in that kind of like walking very quickly, but also trying to be very smooth about it. Brisk. <laughs> yeah, a, you're like, a brisk you're like, smoothness. You're like shaking your hips <laughs> slightly. You're like yeah, and I kind of turn walking, yeah. as I go around the end of the aisle. I turn to look at them. I kind of disappear, like just just trying to to play it off cool. Uh, and and disappear down a random aisle full of jam jars or something like that. <laughs> Exclusively jam jars. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, Elizabeth, you're sort of browsing the organic vegetables. Uh, and you see someone who's sort of there, like... I think they're putting some carrots, like, on the... On the... The, the serving area. What do we call it? The fridge. The refrigerated area. <laughs> Uh, and then um, uh, the, it happens to be next to some some garlic, uh, and you see them sort of like go. A carrot falls into where the garlic is, and then the, they sort of like go to reach out to get it, and then actually like shake their head and like go back to sort of putting stuff on the on the refrigerated shelves. Okay. Well, Elizabeth cannot stand the fact that there's a carrot in with the garlic like that's just not where the carrots go um, okay <laughs> so like she tuts like quite loudly because she wants this okay. person to know that what they've done is like completely ridiculous and that they should okay. be ashamed of their actions um so she, okay and, like, well, while she tuts loudly she picks up the carrot and does like in a very big motion and makes it very obvious that she's like putting it in with the carrots <laughs> I thought her name was Elizabeth, not Karen. Like, <laughs> well, well, this person hears your tut, and they turn around and go, "Wow!" And their stuff sort of like flies, like a turnip sort of flings itself over their shoulder, and they're like, "God, oh, you scared the bejeebas out of me!" Elizabeth only gets um, angrier because they've just made more of a mess. <laughs> Now, Elizabeth, you're not used to people sort of in somewhere like Borison's noticing you because ghosts are invisible to most people. Mm-hmm. Uh, but this person clearly can see you. Oh, okay. uh, so presumably they're not most people. Mm-hmm. Uh, you don't recognise them, uh, but you can definitely tell they're not human, as it were. Okay. And uh, oh god, why would well, you know me? Do I know you? Do you know me? <laughs> um, I don't. I, I mean, you're, you're, you're not. You know, you're clearly not. You know, human. I beg your pardon. And they jump a little bit more, and a few more vegetables sort of fall out from their, their basket. <laughs> you know, logically speaking, um, it's fine. I'm not human either. Who no. are you? Uh, you know, I am Hyron, the the psychic vampire. Well, I think you should really you know, tidy you know, up this mess and look, uh, get about look, your day, you, to be honest. Look, you can't leave this opportunity. I, I rarely meet, you know, another another one. Okay. Another one of, you know... Do you want my autograph? Or where is this going? <laughs> no, I, no, I just... It's just good, it's just good to talk to, you know. I know it's, is it? It's quite boring here, but... I just, it's good to, you know, have a conversation with someone else who understands what it's like to, you know, to be special. You know, oh, not like I these... do know what it's like to be special. That's, that's right. Yeah, exactly. I can tell you're, you're a very, you know, special person. Thank you. I, uh, <laughs> I, I don't regularly see other special people. Although there, there is so, someone I do see sometimes sort of around here. They're like you. It's not Chilly Steve, is it? Now that I think about it, that name does ring a bell a little bit. I often see them sort of floating around here, and then sometimes they look at some of the mill deals, uh, and they sort of shake their head, 
and then they'll see someone you know uh pick like one of those little smoothies instead of one of the big drinks and they'll hear them say why would you do that you idiot uh but uh, maybe it's them because you know like i've i've heard Mm -hmm. that that there's a they're on the beach There's there's a haunted caravan not that I don't want to use, you know, uh, oh, haunted. I, it's it could. Okay, okay, okay. He's sort um, of sta- they're I, sort of stammering. Yeah, now. I think I think you should maybe clean up this mess you've made here, and I'm going to just leave. But it was nice to meet but, you, and yeah, it was I, so I, nice God. of you to say that I'm so great. And uh, if you want my autograph, I'll totally give it to you. But also, I, I need mean, to go. So um. I do, I do tarot on Wednesday. Okay, bye. <laughs> Come over. She like that, floats that. through the shelves, like away. Oh, okay. <laughs> sort of looks around at all of the veg that's on the floor. Sort of starts picking it up. I want to go to tarot on Wednesdays. <laughs> <laughs> um, I would like to just like, yeah, float through the shelves until I, I guess, bump into one of these two. Okay. Uh... You bump into uh, Felicity, who is sort of sniffing, looking around. Yeah, <laughs> um, sniffing. Yeah, uh, I'm like, oh, oh, oh. Uh, <laughs> hi, Felicity. Um, ah! <laughs> yeah, I think. Have you checked the meal deals section uh, yet? No. Okay. Apparently, <laughs> this chili Steve is either going to be in the meal deal section or down in his caravan on the beach. So, those uh, are two very different th- things, very different places. But okay, sure. Um, all right. Uh, okay. Do you know where Edward is? Uh, no. All right. Okay. Well, let's just go to the new meal deal section anyway. Where is Edward? Uh, he's currently just a. Uh... He w- thought he was safe in the the kind of conserved section, uh, right. but as he walks along, there's a, like uh, onion and garlic chutney. Uh, so he just kind of goes. Oh, st- <laughs> <laughs> wow! Bouncing. Even he's b- closed in the jar. <laughs> bouncing back and forth. Yeah, well, you know, okay. just the word garlic is enough. He's, he's okay. had some really bad experiences with garlic in the past. Um, Can yeah, I maybe do a confessional. So. Uh, if we were, if you like cut to when Felicity was like sniffing okay. around and stuff, yeah, um, then she maybe would have poked her head around the corner and maybe saw like Edward like trying to get uh, his flirt on with the mm. person behind the, the oh, in no. the bakery. Um, <laughs> I feel like Lily's knows what's coming, yeah. and then um, she would have kind of like ducked behind and then be like, <sighs> and then confessional is. Long time ago, <laughs> there was a rivalry between myself and Edward, and I'm still kind of, you know, a bit sore about it. There was this girl that we were both into, and, you know, I was kind of vying for her attention, but eventually she shows him, and it's just kind of, it's just, you know, it's why I, it's why I like to mess with him a lot, uh, but uh, it's just kind of, <laughs> you know, she, uh, uh, he kind of just like did. He wasn't as into her as I was. Is all I'm saying, you know. And uh, and, pff, and now he's off flirting with other people, and it just kind of gets to me a little bit. And that's it. That's <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, awesome. Uh, gain two confidence. Hey, thank you. Because your confession is has somewhat hindered or harmed your character because you described how you failed at something. Um, which is failing at getting this girl instead of Edward. Yeah. Um, what can I say? So he has you the can, charm. So you, <laughs> you can now use that confidence whenever you want to try to do a problem roll or a clout. Heck yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. So so Edward, um, uh, where are you? Are you sort of wondering? Toward the exit, or well, I since have you got your 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 bread, or <laughs> well, I dropped the bread because it was garlic bread. Oh uh, yeah, and then ran down the the jar of the jar of jars, the Isle of jars, uh, <laughs> and like I said, I'm kind of like ping ponging between uh, like different jars of like garlic spread, like garlic spread, or uh, 
Uh, onions bad for vampires? I don't think onions are bad for vampires, are they? But I no. I think Edward probably thinks that they are, despite having been alive for hundreds of years. So just steers clear of onions in general because they look a bit mm. much like garlic. So it's just kind of uh, bouncing away from pickled onions, bouncing away from garlic in a jar. It was like one uh, incident where you mix the two of them up and it was a bad yeah, time. Yeah, it was, it was a nightmare, yeah. Um, yeah, I think there's... I think there, there's I think a there's a guard that kind of strolls past the the aisle you're in and then like stops and then looks around at what you're doing, sort of ping ponging between the the aisles and it's like, um, are you okay there? You're right there. Uh, uh, are you, you talk- do I do I to- do, would you like to be? T- would you like me to help you? Uh, or? Oh no, I'm uh, Edward. Just kind of straightens up a little bit and tries to be, uh, stays, stands in exactly the middle of the aisle, away from things, but tries to suddenly pick up his kind of composure. It's like, oh, no, you know, I'm, I'm perfectly, I'm fine. Can, I'm. Can, can I, can I bring you to the, can I bring you to the the exit? Would you like to leave? No, I've, st- look, I've still got some stress, sh- some shopping to do. I'm looking for, um, uh, looking for, um, and he just reaches out and picks up the first jar off the shelf right i'm i'm looking for these um um uh, like uh ger- gherkins um <laughs> gherkins and um uh, i think they're um a favorite of me uh, as a as a human i think you see the wa- they reach for their walkie talkie like oh. could you please someone someone down here they seem to be Somewhat stressed. I think they might need some some assistance of some sort. I'm just doing my human shopping. They put, they put the <laughs> walkie-talkie back. All right, there. Um, Look, it's okay. I think I. I, I sorry. Go no, you go. I was gonna say. I think I can Um, I float. Oh wait, no, I don't float. I think I come around the back of the shelves at this point, and I see that like, I just I just see Edward like holding a jar of pickles. And this man, like, with the walkie-talkie, like a guard with the walkie-talkie, like, staring mm. at him. And I'm like, oh, God, not again. So I go down, and I'm like, oh, Edward, here you are. We should really get going now. No, put down the gherkins. We don't want those. Today. But, uh, let's go. It's... Let's go. Come on. We have to get out of here. The, the guard has seen this, and they're like, because they can't see you, so they just see this jar of gherkins oh. float back onto <laughs> the shelf. <laughs> Uh, and seemingly Edward talking with someone who's not there. Uh, yeah, I'd like well, to hold on really quickly. I'd like to um, inhabit in, uh, his walkie-talkie, right? And, like uh, just like Ooh. fly around and like hit hit, <laughs> okay. hit him on the butt. And like while he's like <laughs> right? while he's hopefully distracted by that and trying to fix it, like yeah, yeah. To sure, um, like Edward whoa, yeah. whoa, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, what are you? Are you making scarce or? Uh, I, yeah, I suppose so. It's like, oh well, I, I never mind about the uh, the the gherkin, the spawn of ger. Um, what, the, I need to... what the hell is going on? <laughs> <laughs> that was very good. <laughs> um, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll do my human shopping elsewhere. Thank you very much. This has been quite a rude experience. Uh, and I make sure to kind of glitter as I rush past. Okay, <laughs> I've been watching so this entire exchange, just not helping at all. Um, are you are you not getting out of here? Because the guard is like, where are you going? Hey, yeah. did, hey! <laughs> did anyone find uh, uh, Chili Chili Steve? Were they around? Did anyone? Uh, has anyone got any clues? Or are we just a? Uh... Apparently, he might yeah. be living in a caravan down on the beach. Why? Why are they like some on, kind of a, a hobo. on the beach? <laughs> yeah, at this point, the guard is like chasing after you, like going, "I need backup." I, need- I, go, <laughs> I go back and I in- inhabit his uh, walkie-talkie again, and I just like fling it around his neck <laughs> like a few times. Right? Are you getting out of here? Or are you just gonna live in this person's walkie-talkie? No, I'm just, I'm just like fling it around his neck a few times, so he's like, okay. he's like, gonna oh, strangle him. No. I'm not gonna, no! I'm not strangling him, but I'm gonna like ring it around, so he has to like really work to okay. like, undo it, and it gets distracted. Yeah. By. Well, you've distracted, you've distracted them for sure. You, are you gonna make her escape? Yeah, or... yeah. Then I go back and join them. I will quickly run down the meal deal aisle <laughs> just to check and see if. if... Uh, they're there. Uh, right, cool. Nobody's there. <laughs> okay, no, I'll run back out. <laughs> okay, you're out. Mm-hmm. Well, we'll have to find out where they go next in the next episode of Low Stakes. 
um, part two, as it were. Mm. Um, if you've enjoyed this, you can watch many other videos uh, on uh, YouTube slash Dicebreaker. Mm -hmm. Um, you can also go to dicebreaker.com and read some fantastic articles uh, by myself, by Matt Jarvis, by our freelance writer Chase, and by all our lovely contributors. Uh, you can also get some amazing merchandise uh, from where, Matt Jarvis? Ring it out. Uh, dicebreaker.myshopify.com Excellent. Um, definitely come back here for the next episode, but until then... Have a lovely day! Woo!